up on Golf in America. From the pitching mound to the tee box, Mark Mulder has found a new passion as he focuses on competitive golf. In 2001, left-handed pitcher Mark Mulder of the Oakland A's won more games than any other pitcher in the American League. Flash forward to 2010, and he is still piling up the victories, only this time in golf. Brando Chambly has the story of how Mulder was slowly forced out of one game and into the open arms of another. Bottom of the first inning, Cardinals nothing, Phillies nothing. And now Mark Mulder talking with LaRue on the mound. The home plate umpire Marvin Hudson goes out and he has waved out Tony LaRusa and members of the Cardinal training staff. Obviously feeling something right now. Not a good sign. Mark Mulder. Tonight was going to be his return to the starting rotation, but it lasts for only three batters. Things just slowly with my arm just started falling apart. It takes a toll on you, man. You know, when you when you want to be out there competing and you want to be out and you're, and you're used to competing at a certain level and you physically just can't do it, you know, it's tough. Imagine being one of the best pitchers in baseball. 21 wins in a season, 159 strikeouts, a two-time all-star. And at 32 years old, your career is over. What do you do next? Well, for Mark Mulder, that decision was easy. You know, when I finally quit throwing the baseball and quit trying to come back, I guess, for this past season, it, uh, it was a big relief, to be honest with you. It felt nice to just be a dad, just be at home, and it was nice to just get phone calls and say, you want to play golf tomorrow? Golf served as Mulder's respite from baseball and the intense pressure he was putting on himself to get back on the field. The game of golf was fun. And what better way to keep his mind off a career lost than to gain a new skill set? Mark took to competitive golf just like he had attacked his major league career with remarkable swiftness. We joined Mark Mulder in his hometown of Scottsdale, Arizona, Sweep. where he let us in on his golf game his family life, and the injury that drove him from the game that he loves. What exactly happened? Uh, you went back to pitch, yeah. and your arm wouldn't do what it used my, to do? My arm swing was just inconsistent. When, I, when, when my hands would separate right here, my arm just never got to the same spot every time. One time it would go here, another time you know, it, would, it would just hang back here. I knew I wasn't getting better, you know, and nobody knew why. He always had that dream like to play baseball and then once you have that dream and it becomes a reality well then I think it was well I can't wait for my son to watch me play baseball and just to know that that's not going to happen it's been really difficult for him I was there to see him walk I was there to see him crawl I didn't miss anything and that's the one thing that, there you go. that I can honestly say was the good thing that came out of me being hurt all the time while Mulder could no longer throw a ball to his liking, he definitely enjoyed the results when he started teeing one up more often. If I didn't play golf, I'd probably drive my wife crazy, you know, being around the house a little too much. He enjoys the game so much, so I know that he's just having fun with it right now. I don't know if he took it more seriously, if it would change things. It's always been a passion, I guess, you know, but now that I'm done playing ball and stuff, I kind of want to test myself a little bit and see how good I can get. While playing in the Golf Channel Amateur Tours Championship flight for scratch golfers, Mark got so good, he remarkably won six of the ten tournaments that he entered. Every time I read the paper, you've won another amateur event. How did you come to play in these Golf Channel Amateur Series? When I put the baseball down in February, I started searching on the computer. I think the first thing I typed in was Arizona Amateur Golf. Yeah, well, you won over half of them. Uh, tell me about your first win. In amateur golf, oh, you're a little nervous. You know, I'd never played in anything and hit the tee shot, and it's kind of it was kind of like pitching, where you hit that first tee shot, hit it out there, it found grass, so you're like, let's go, you know, and those competitive juices start flowing, and you go from there. My wife laughs. She's like, you won again, you know, and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, he's bringing home a lot of trophies. <laughs> I'm like, what are we gonna do with all these things? It'd be fun to see uh, one guy go from that kind of status in baseball and then you know try to get the same kind of status in golf would be great. I think he could be a great player. He's got plenty of length, he's got great hands. I think he could definitely play if he wanted to. You never know. You never know what might happen. Anything to compete and see those guys in the eyes and 
and just and just try to play your best. It, it makes for a good time. Mark Mulder is keeping his options open for returning to Major League Baseball someday. But if he continues to dominate on the course, he may want to rethink his professional aspirations.